Hey there, this is the one boom, and my friend Kyle and I came up with a pretty fun way to get around this whole no lethal motion activated explosive issue that Vanguard has. It's fun calling it an issue because I actually don't mind this game not having a Claymore, Trip Mine, Bouncing Betty equivalent. Except for the fact that it does. You just have to make it yourself. Planting stun mine! This all started just after the game launched, and my friend and I realized that the stun grenades set off demolition charges. So of course, my friend came to the next conclusion, the S-mines would probably also set off demolition charges. And they absolutely do, and I know a lot of you are gonna go, oh yeah, put the demolition charge next to the S-mine, bada bing bada boom, thanks for the video, retard, but we're not done yet. There's a couple little things you can do that will make this even more effective and a little bit more fun. So, let's say you want to camp in Call of Duty Vanguard. It's kind of hard, you know, there's lots of gammon bombs, people can run demolition and Panzerfaust and rip through your cover, so many camping areas are destructible. It's kind of hard to be a camping little rat in Vanguard. But I highly recommend if you want to be a rat, run Tactician, S-Mines, Demolition Charges, and most importantly, the Ammo Crate. The ammo crate stacks on to your stock amount of demolition charges, and even if they patch that in the future, it's still good to have a refill of demolition charges from your ammo box. There are some other tricky little things you can do with the ammo box that I'll get to in a second, but for the most part, you want it to refill your lethals and tacticals. And of course, Tactician will just keep refilling your S-Mines over time, and S-Mines, even if they're not lethal, are a good thing to have if you want to fortify your little camping spot. The fun thing about the S-Mine and Demolition Charge combo is that you can put the Demolition Charges anywhere you want, except directly above you, but if you get clever, you can find little beams and things, and as long as it counts and looks like a wall, it'll stick to it. And you can then put the S-Mine underneath it a pretty good distance away, and you'll be able to net a lot of kills. The fun thing is, people with Engineer are often looking at the ground, and when they see your S-Mine on the ground, they might think, ah, I can tank an S-Mine, or it doesn't matter, I can shoot the S-Mine, but they won't notice the demolition charge right above. So if you hear that your S-Mine's been destroyed, detonate your demolition charge, because you can still remote detonate it from across the map. Small side note, make sure you don't double tap X when your demolition charge is on the field, otherwise you'll preemptively blow your load. But this is where the ammo box comes in. Let's say you've used your demolition charge, and you have a spare S-Mine in your pocket because of the tactician perk. Well. Throw the ammo box down, get yourself a demolition charge, and then put an S-Mine right next to the ammo box. Right next to it, as close as you can to it, on top of it if you can. Because when an enemy walks by the S-Mine and the ammo box, you have your own improvised explosive device. And if you put a demolition charge and an S-Mine near an ammo box, the ammo box having that big red blocky signature sort of can help you hide your makeshift claymore around a corner. Just put an S-Mine and Demolition Charge behind uh, an ammo crate, and someone with Engineer will see the ammo crate, not think anything of it, and then they'll continue to run past it, detonating the ammo crate and the Demolition Charge, killing them instantly. And the best part about all of this is that the Demolition Charge, if it goes off close enough to a, a fortified user, it'll kill them anyway. And then of course, if an Engineer user hacks your S-Mine and you hear your S-Mine's been compromised, just detonate your Demolition Charge, and give them a fun little surprise. Basically with this, you have a super bouncing Betty that counters fortified and has a ton of flexibility because you're placing the charge and the primer separately. It does suck because it does take your lethal and tactical out, and if you want to keep restocking them, you need to have an ammo box, but the ammo box also works as an improvised explosive device, so you have a lot of creativity and flexibility here as to how you want to booby trap areas for your enemies. But always remember, if you are having trouble with people doing this, just run Engineer and Gammon Bombs and Demolition and you can just destroy all of their stuff from a distance. It's not going to be a big deal. This isn't going to be that hard to counter, especially if you're like me and like running Panzerfausts, you know, it's not really going to be a big deal. But try to get creative with this idea. You know, put your ammo box down and S mine near it, a Demolition Charge on the ceiling or, you know, on the wall closest to the ceiling and You'll have a pretty big explosion when somebody walks in, which is great for hardpoint, great for objective game modes, and great for being a camping little rat. 
So that's the end of this short little video. I don't normally do videos like this, but it's a pretty good little tip and I thought it'd be fun to share it with you guys if you're looking to camp and be a terrible person. I'll see you when I see you. Goodbye.